Hi there and welcome to the NeoClickSense tutorial video and in this video I will going to talk about the rank and hrank function. So rank and hrank function is useful whenever you have vertical or horizontal data. So hrank basically indicates horizontal and rank indicates that vertical data. So this is a vertical format. Horizontal format is like this which you usually see in the pivot table. So first of all, we'll see the rank function on this and then in our pivot table, we will going to use the H rank function. All right. So to do that uh, on this table, we will going to add one measure and in the expression editor, I will say within the rank sum of sales. All right. And that's what you need at the minimum. So based on how the sorting is being done, this is the rank one. Here is the rank two. We can change the order. So if we come over here, rank, we can make this as a first one. And now you see sort order, first sort order is by this. And you get one to from one to 17. Now in the sorting, you have a lot of different options. Like if you uncheck this, you have sort numerically descending, you have ascending, whatever you want. And accordingly, you know, your rank will also change. So I'll just change it to descending because that's usually you want. And this way you can show, let's say, uh, your top products or your top customers and things like that along with their respective ranking. Now, not only this, if you add some more dimension, the ranking will adjust accordingly. So for example, if we come to data and add one more dimension, let's say customer segment and I add customer move the customer segment over here. So now in the respective customer segment, like appliances, we have four customer segment, corporate, home office, small business and consumer. So based on where the maximum sales are. So for example, over here, you get the rank one, two, three, four accordingly. So based on what dimension you are adding, this will also, the rank will also adjust accordingly. You don't really have to worry about what's going on uh, with the number of dimensions you just need to make sure that you understand the sorting order which I explained. Now let's talk about the horizontal rank. So horizontal rank is for the the pivot table over here. So if I just add and add the dimension which is product subcategory add a column let's say customer segment and add a measure let's say sum of sales all right so there is a less what i'll do is i'll just delete this since i don't need it i'll expand this little bit okay so this is the different uh, sales that we have now in these four categories on that is in the horizontal row i want to identify the rank so in that case i will just add the h rank sum of sales close the parenthesis one for sum and one for h rank and hit tab now i have the rank for my respective segments so one is corporate but you see for scissors rulers and trimmers this is rank three and rank one is the consumer so this basically shows the horizontal ranking it compares this, 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 and this value and give you the rank accordingly like one, two, and three, and four. And that's how very straightforward it is to implement the vertical rank or the horizontal rank as per your needs in the quick sense. So that's about it. And I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic.